In 1942, this sailor's ship was sunk through an incredible stroke of luck. He managed to survive at sea for 133 days. Poon Lim was a man with luck firmly on his side on November 23, 1942. After surviving a German torpedo attack, he would spend the next 133 days adrift in the South Atlantic Ocean. Born in Hainan, China in 1918, Poon had grown up receiving an education, unlike many of his peers. This was due to his brothers sending money home from their factory jobs. At 16, he would find himself sent to one of these brothers, who was working on a British passenger freight. With the Japanese rapidly approaching, Poon's father made the decision, believing his son would be safer away from China where he might eventually be drafted to fight. By 1942, he was working as second steward on SS Benlaman, a British armed merchant ship which was making its way from Cape Town to Paramaribo and New York that November day. Being slow moving and traveling alone, it was a sitting duck for the German U-boat that intercepted it some 750 miles east of Brazil. After being struck by two torpedoes, the ship sank within just two minutes. Poon would be one of just six out of a crew of 54 to escape grabbing a life jacket and jumping overboard before the ship's boilers exploded. In the water, he found he was alone, far from land and with no idea if help would arrive. He spent the next two hours contemplating what would come next. If he was expecting death, he was to be pleasantly surprised when he spotted something floating towards him, a raft. The raft was unmanned and as Poon hoisted himself onto the wooden structure, he came to realize the strange floating vessel was more than simply a raft. It was a lifesaver with a 40-liter jug of water, several tins of biscuits, some chocolate, a bag of sugar lumps, flares, smoke pots, and a flashlight. Poon would spend the next 133 days adrift in the South Atlantic, the eight-foot raft his savior. When the food and water on the raft ran out, he survived by catching rainwater in a canvas life jacket covering and fishing, having taken a wire from the flashlight and fashioned it into a hook. When he caught a fish, he cut it open using a knife he had made from a biscuit tin and then dried it on a hemp line above the raft. Unable to swim well, Poon would tie a rope from the boat to his wrist, terrified at the prospect that he might fall from the one thing keeping him alive. As the months passed, Poon encountered frequent struggles for survival. When a large storm spoiled his fish, he had no other choice than to capture and kill a bird, drinking its blood for sustenance. Other hunting efforts were thwarted when sharks circled the raft. On these occasions, Poon would refrain from fishing. Perhaps the most terrifying moments of all were those when the lone man was passed and ignored by other vessels. The first was an unidentified freighter whose crew saw Poon but did not pick him up or even greet him, despite his proficient shouts in English. After these failed potential rescues, Poon would contemplate why they hadn't approached him. Was it because he was Asian and mistaken for a stricken Japanese sailor? Or perhaps they feared him to be a survivor set by German U-boats in a bid to lure rescuing ships to a watery grave? When a marker boy splashed into nearby water one day, Poon watched a squadron of United States Navy Patrol seaplanes circling overhead. His chance of them returning to rescue him was dashed when a large storm hit shortly afterwards, sending him even further into oblivion. As each day passed, the stranded sailor tied yet another knot in a rope. Eventually, as the rope began to run out, he resorted to counting full moons instead. On April 5, 1943, Poon awoke to a sight that was just as mesmerizing as the raft itself had been all those months before. There was land ahead. He had suspected he might be approaching land for several days after noticing the color of the water had changed from a deep ocean blue. When three Brazilian fishermen spotted the stranded sailor, they rushed to his aid. Despite losing 20 pounds during the ordeal, Poon was able to walk into the Brazilian hospital he was taken to unaided. After four weeks, he returned to Britain, a new record holder for the longest survival at sea on a life raft. When told about his feat, Poon had a simple reply, I hope no one will ever have to break that record. Back in Britain, Poon Lim received a British Empire Medal from King George VI. The Royal Navy also used him as an example in their Manual of Survival Techniques. Following the war, he emigrated to the United States. Despite the quota for Chinese immigrants having been reached, Poon received a special dispensation and began his new life. Of the 54 on board the SS Ben Lomond, Poon Lim was the sole survivor. Thanks to that raft that appeared so miraculously, he was able to live on until the age of 72. For the best quality of sleep, follow the three-hour rule and have your last drink at least three hours before you go to bed. For the best quality of life, have something to eat before you drink and don't overdo it.